everybody, this is Nia Feiler. I'm here with the weekly astrological message. I know I missed a week. Uh, my beloved compadre here, my computer, he went dead. And uh, they needed to send a special doctor for computers to fix it in my home. And he took the motherboard and he put a new motherboard. And now the computer is revived and we can edit our videos once more. So, I'm happy to be here again. <clears throat> Thank you for everyone who wrote and asked if everything is okay. Um, my computer is resurrected. Here is where I talk about celestial transits, about the energetic super all swimming in, all zodiac signs. And I'm talking about a week that starts, let's say, with Monday the 26th and goes up to Monday the 3rd of May. 2021 it's an intense time in the sky it feels a bit like there's so much energy that wants to be directed and there's not many paths it can be channeled into and that can cause a sense of blockage and tension and even some anxiety and we're coming from a few harder days into a nicer time this week when I'm looking at Monday the 26th, it becomes better as it goes along and it has some beautiful energies in it with the trine of the moon to Jupiter and Mars, which are in trine themselves. That's a grand trine right there. Um, so really Monday the 26th has this wonderful energies, creative energies that we could actually utilize in our lives. Tuesday the 27th is the energetic peak of the month with full moon in Scorpio, highly transformative, dramatic time. That we can all take a step away from drama in our life and look at things at perspective because we can become too obsessive, compulsive and total and extreme with how high we presume the waves are in our lives. And this is a moon that opposes Uranus and Mercury and Venus and squares Saturn as, as Magus Rick Levine, uh, so uh, aptly noted, but also Sesky Quadrits, uh, Neptune, and there's a septile happening there as well at the time. And these break the harder aspects of this transformative full moon. If, if I want to synthesize everything this full moon symbolizes, it symbolizes an immediate um, intolerant, urgent need for an upgrade in our social structures, in our financial structures, personally and collectively, in the way we run human society, in the way the structures of governance, both personally and publicly, are run in our lives. And this shakes the pillars of the earth. There's a greater unrest. Civic society boils. And we can see more clashes between different groups within civil society. And we can see more clashes between civil society and governments. God forbid, between governments and governments. And definitely a time that this urgent update that is called for can help us you know we can have the imagination the vision and the global holistic mind frame to actually change our lives for the better to actually walk forward to actually leave the past behind and create new new realities for ourselves so this is a very creative full moon as well as it can transform our lives nevertheless please put things in perspective wednesday the 28th nice day as it comes to the evening time eastern european time make sure that you watch out for overindulgence and just you know putting a healthy limit to things sometimes because we find 
you know, things lacking, we can overindulge in others trying to compensate. Thursday, the 29th, good day, great day to tie up whatever we didn't through the week, especially career wise. And then Friday, the 30th, we have um, Mercury sextiles Neptune and the Sun conjuncts Uranus, Mercury sextile Neptune, so imaginative so full of inspiration a great time for writers a great time for people you know um needing to make up uh, plays or artwork or things like that inspiration flows more easily it's a great time for emotional conversations and to talk more about spiritual eternal truths in our lives um it is a time that we can see things a bit pinkier in their shade than they what what they really are and we need to make sure that we're not too naive with how we navigate our lives forward when Uranus conjuncts the Sun it's definitely a time to remember to be the reed and not the oak that you know um, making sure that we understand that we don't know the road ahead and we don't know the right steps ahead this is a changing path that is enveloping before our legs as we walk it so remember to enjoy it and, and and have that excitement and remember that flexibility is key that um how how beautifully we adapt to the new conditions is key Understand that the old conditions don't apply anymore. Don't rely on them. Try and understand the new ones and and and, and you actually utilize them. And please be careful from intolerance, as we could be very intolerant when the sun conjuncts Uranus. And then Sunday, uh, Saturday the first, very nice day great for a weekend for having fun for enjoying ourselves sunday the second also moon trine venus great day for love and satisfaction and uh, sextiles neptune so really also a great day to be outside in nature and deal with anything artistic or spiritual mercury is trying by pluto on that day we could have deep conversations we could have transformative conversations we can have conversations about hidden taboo matters and Venus sextiles Neptune and that means that through next week we could be more naive and romantic about money and relationships in our lives and that's a, not a bad thing not a bad thing at all as long as we know how to take those pink shades off when necessary and then Monday we have the Sun squaring Saturn and Mercury squaring Jupiter. Mercury squaring Jupiter is a bit of a verbal diarrhea. We have to be careful to not to be untactful, not to be too direct, not to say things we might be sorry for later on. And Sun square Saturn is about growing up and maturing and taking responsibility and understanding that we have to. That there's really no other choice but rising up to the challenges in our lives. That no one is going to do it for us. That's about everything I had to say for this week. I want to remind you, still 30% COVID off on all lessons. It's a new a Zoom uh, class for beginners, new Zoom class for advanced students. Readings with me are 30% off and private lessons are 30% off. Contact me. Do yourself a favor and do me a favor. Let's support each other. Anyway, this is about everything I had to say. This is Nia Filer. May we all live long and prosper. Bye-bye.